Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Muzz's Manic Machines. You saw my last video where I was sitting on the Ducati Monster S4 trying to start it and didn't want to start. The little cantankerous Italian beast that it is. Well, it turns out the starter's shot to pieces. So I have to take the starter off. So what that involves, the starter, I'll just show you. Show everyone the starter, that's the oil filter down there. That's the starter there. But to get to it, it's a bit of a problem. You've got to undo the starter wire, which I've cleaned. Drain the oil, as you can see. Come around the other side. Got to drain the coolant. Had to take the water pump cover off, which is down there. Oh, just a little bit. That's the water pump cover and the bolts. Had to take the slave cylinder off, the gear selector off, chain cover, and then I can take this cover off, take all these 5 mil Allen bolts off, and then inside, eventually, I'll be able to get to the bolts that are holding the starter motor. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to get into that uh, so we can get this thing back up and running and give it a good lease of life it's just had a bit of a hard life so i think it's time for it to get some loving i'll set you up all you beautiful people over here so you can watch what i'm doing and we'll have some fun on a ducati today all right let's go all right here we go I'm not sure how riveting this video is going to be, so we'll just see. Apparently this water pump should just slide out, but I don't think that's doing its job. That doesn't want to slide out. So I'm going to undo all of these. First we'll go around and crack them. A lot of them. <sighs> now, what I do, I place my bolts in the order that I take them off on this rag just in case they're different lengths and then we can work it out. So I'm just gonna move this and I'll show you that later. hoping that your caddies just use the same length bolt. That would make it so much easier. So 
so far they're all the same length. That's a different length. All right, we've got our first different length. I don't think this one needs to come out, but I'm just going to leave this sensor loose just in case. Oh, didn't get that one. Oh, great. I just lost one of my lovely. Just lost one of the wire connectors um, holders. Yum. Can't get that one. Is that one? I'm just gonna move this. I know it might make a mess, but we'll move it. Alright, so all I've got left is the one that I can't get to, which I've got to get on. So I'm going to move all these. Alright, so I'll just bring you guys over here. Alright, I'll just put the sump plug in. Star motors come out and I'm just cleaning up around the edges a little bit. Just a little bit of the old gasket, just taking it off so it's nice and smooth. It shouldn't take too much to clean it. You want it clean because there's no gasket, so you're just using silica. That's 
neighbours starting the boat. Everyone seems to like revving the engines around here. I don't think I mind it when I fire up the Ducati. I'll hold it. Always a tight spot. I just found it with a chain. That will clean that up nicely. Yeah, that's good. I'll lube the chain up too while everything's off. That's all nice and clean now. Now we'll go put the O-rings onto the cover, generator cover. And then we might, um, I might put the starter in, we'll see how I'm going for time then. Just making sure no oil's gonna leak down this nice mating surface that's clean. Pretty clean, I'm happy with how that's coming out, actually. Alright, let's go put the O-rings in. Alright, now I'm going to try and put the starter in. This is going to be fun. Spray clutch. 
Everything's gonna not want to stay there. Can't see what I'm doing. No. Maybe if I stay from there. Go in that bottom one. Like so. That's not going to line up. Trying to line up the gasket so it lines up for the other two holes. That's got to be it there. All right. Don't know how much you guys can see, beautiful people, but. Okay, so that's got to go there. Fiddly little sucker. I'm gonna have to take my glass off because I'm getting double vision. Feels like it's doing something. Keep on a roll here. All right, let's leave that there. Let's find the other two. Oh, a bumpy bump. Hopefully these line up. Isn't going in. Let's get the light and see what's going on. Maybe it was the wrong hole. <sighs> so much space, but they're fiddly bikes. Always fiddly. Let's see. Now. 
hasn't lined up the hole. Great. That wasn't the right way around. Out it comes again. We'll try it again. Not sure if you can see the back of my head or not. Should be there. It's not. Great. Let me just see if that can place there. Okay, so that's not the right way around. That's the right way around. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. So the slot has to be down there. And that has to be down there. I'm just having to feed it through the exhaust, get the starter wire through. I think that's about right somewhere there. Now everything's moved. to sit at the bottom, not the top. Something's different. Gasket in. All the holes line up. I think the starter's been off and has been put on incorrectly. And now that bottom one, let's see if I can see that.
I think this has been rebuilt 180 degrees out because that that's how it wants to sit but that post is fouling on an oil pressure sensor on an oil feed line and this post should be 180 degrees down Post is in the wrong. There we go. That's the right spot. This gasket. I don't know. There we go. I had it the first time. It didn't want to work. Let's try it one more time that way. This gasket will sit on that there. And that doesn't work. It's the wrong gasket. I think I've been given the wrong gasket. If I want that to sit like that, this hole over here. I've been given the wrong gasket. Let's see if you guys can see. So, this is the new gasket and that's the orientation the post has to go down. And it's lining up with that hole there. But see there's two threads and I need this one to line up because when I line this up in there it's covering the hole. This old gasket I've got lines up this right hole here which is what we want. Like so. I wonder if I'll turn it around. That'll do anything. Let's try and turn it around. Uh, doesn't matter if you turn it around or not, it still lines up the wrong hole. That's the hole I need, but it's not lining up. I'm gonna have to call up, get a different gasket. Alright, sometimes these things happen. have a little play got a little clean we'll call up the parts tomorrow and um, get a four hole gasket that's what we need all right show continues all righty so whew, it's 
time to put some spark plugs in. These are. So, I've ordered some new spark plugs, finally. The old ones, time for a change. Uh, we are, I am doing the 40,000k service out of this now, so we will carry on. Just take that out. Just a little tip on these spark plugs, you gotta take the top off for about there, so that way the coil's gonna fit. If you have that little tip on, it's not gonna work. Might bring that down so you guys can see what I'm doing down here. There you go. So just putting the spark plug down there. Uh, find the tool that Rod gave me. Try the 16 mils. Sorry. That works. in, put the plug in, there we go, so there, now I can go down and do the bottom one, the front one, I'll bring you guys around there, bring you people around, hang on, alright so we'll put the front one in there, Sealing it. I forgot to do on that one. Oh, I'm a silly, silly person. I forgot to take the little thing off the top after I had my instructions. That was silly of me. This one's a bit of a pain to get out actually. So, I've got to take this top off, as you saw, so it's narrower. Now that should click in properly and give us a nice tight seal. We'll put that on. Um, 
Alright. Ready for the radiator now. This was a bit tricky dicky, but I think I can get it done. Just got to go around the other side, see if I can get it up into the connector. So that goes in all the way there. It's supposed to sit up there, but it doesn't want to. You can cool on everywhere. It's nice. That's it's Something's going wrong here. Oh, I don't know it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to sit up here, but it doesn't want to sit up there. That on so it stops leaking everywhere. Just to give everyone an update where we're up to, this is the bracket that used to mount down here, but when you put this on there, I'll just put it on loosely, it's too short with this radiator. So I've got to make a new bracket up to go from there to there. So I've got some aluminium and I'm going to start making that up now. I'll put the light on down there. See if we can get some good light here. It is night time. So, let's go get the marker. So I've measured it out, it's gotta be 70 mil from point to point. So I'll get that there, in the middle. It's in the middle. That'll work nicely. And then we'll go 70 mil from there. 
which is the dot just there. All right, so we've done that. Measure it out. I bought this U Butte center punch, so if we just push that. In there. Push that in there. And what I'll do, I'll get Trusty bit of timber. And I might just readjust this. All right, we're working by torchlight. With good old safety boots on. bit done. Oh, gotta love working with aluminium. There's always bits and pieces around. Just gonna check the hole size. Just a little bit more. Okay, and then this one just needs to be big enough for a bolt to go through. There we go. That is pretty good. hole there. Ah, hot, hot, hot. So we can cut that off, make a nice cut. And we'll be sweeping all this up later because I'm going to get it all. I think I'll sweep it up now. It's a good idea. Right. Running out of space, running out of space. We are running out of space. Oh, we go in the dark. Go find some. When you put your tools away, exactly where you leave them, where they're supposed to be, so easy to find everything. Right, quick bracket. <coughs> I'm just going to put this in the bin. Do the bin, no go. Alright, I've got my safety stuff on because aluminium flies everywhere. Cover the bike up. Wow. 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 It's wobbling around too much, so I'm going to get right on the edge. Of course. Try that again. Just try and 
clean that up a little bit. I'll try the flap disc and see how it works. therapy just coming down in the workshop working at night for a hard day's work just come down here off a little bit and we'll be all right. Ah, hot. Oh, asbestos fingers to the rescue. So these are all tools that are, you know, using the car, using the bike, the house, everything like that. Yes, the bench is getting full again. Alright, so there we have one hot bracket. Woo. Yeah, I need to put this, try and feed this into there. Hopefully, I have made it big enough. Yeah, it is very hot. <laughs> Hoping I've made this hole big enough. I'm hoping. I've got some other flat bar that's a little bit wider and you can let me go to a bigger hole. I think that's what we're going to need to do. Because this doesn't want to fit. This is not fitting. So, uh, what I might do is just try and go a little bit wider and see how it goes. If I bust it, we'll just use the other bracket.
going from the other side. We want to push that. Let's see how that goes. Definitely matches the other hole that we got over there. Yep. I think we got a winner. I think we got a winner. Chicken, chicken dinner. pretty good. I'm just going to test it <coughs> on the post. Alright so that actually sits in there nicely. I've got this bolt that was used before. I'm just going to line up the hole. There we go. We can do up the washer and the nut. I think we got a winner. We got a winner. How good is that? I'm liking that. It's off the coil. Once we tighten that up, it's going to be good. Um, I need a 10 mil spinner so we can fill down. pretty tight and that is not moving that is awesome oh, very happy with my work I will upgrade this bolt though this is an aftermarket bolt I'll just get a nice allen key to go on there but that radiator is now in <laughs> uh, another success story um, just little things like this need to be done on the bike. So I've got to do left, I've been doing a 40,000 K service on it as well. So I've got to put oil in, new coolant, grease the chain, and we should be right to put it on the ground and fire it up. All right. Ugh. All right, so I'm just gonna apply chain lube to this. Should have done it somewhere else other than over the exhaust. There we go. Let that dry. I'll clean the exhaust system a little bit. Might as well went a bit nuts. Put the cover on, the chain cover. Next. Oh, I'm having fun tonight. Both the same size, which is good. Get the 
find the right size. Five mil. Yep. It's good to clean in there, you get a lot of gunk. There's a lot of dirt, grease, just a lot of road grime in there, so it was good to clean up. Alright, so we can clean up everything off the ground, hammers too, and we'll go to the other side and put the coolant in and the oil. Should be a lot of fun. Old dirty rags now. Look in front of the camera again, Muzza. Naughty, naughty. All right, All right we got call here. Let's get the keys and see if this thing's gonna fire. <laughs> it's in neutral. So, just threw the helmet on, you saw it fire up, took it for a test ride, it goes great. It's good to be back on a Ducati again with an open face helmet. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Um, I'm full of energy, I'm full of happiness and life right now, the bike's going. Looks good just sitting there. Uh, next video is probably going to be back to 
the parts car start pulling it apart, um, or the S80 over there um, with the radiator. So we're just gonna, I'll see which one I'm, I feel like doing. And this is the first day we've had without rain in about seven or eight weeks. So it's great to be back out in the open and on the bike. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys again on Muzz's Manic Machines.